Hello guys and welcome back to my CryEngine 3 SDK tutorial series and in this video I'm going to be covering something which is very long weighted which is artificial intelligence. Uh, I think it was in one of my previous videos I went over a bunch of different entities and I did promise to go into AI in a little more detail and just basically uh, play with one. So first of all uh, let's just go and find where they are. So to do that let's just go over to entities and then under the uh, AI tab, we've got a few different types. We're only really going to be playing with grunts for now. So let's just bring that in by just pretty much drag and dropping it into the scene. And um, sorry about that there. Um, let me just try and drag this in again. Okay, it's going to not be so nice on me. So I'm just going to go ahead and fly down to the dock. Uh, if you're just using standard terrain, you shouldn't have the issue which I just did there. So, there we, oh, there we go. And we have our little grunt man. So here we go, we've got our man just pretty much sitting in our scene. He's not doing anything at the moment, but uh, he should work if you just press Control G, go into the game. He's going to run after me, start firing at me. However, uh, some of you may be having a small little issue where he doesn't actually attack you. So I just really want to give you the heads up that you sometimes have to generate the AI when you make some modifications to them or just generally place them. So to do that you just go over to the uh, go to AI up here and press generate all uh, all AI and boom uh, your CryEngine may just little quickly freeze up very briefly however it should return to normal in just a couple of seconds which you should see uh, any minute now. Here we go and also, uh, with entities, uh, AI entities, you have a hell of a lot of different parameters that you can play around with. We've got things like auto disable, so you can essentially just hide it so it doesn't turn, so it's pretty much hidden. Uh, you've got loads of others, but yeah, auto disable, let's say you've got a pack of them, uh, you just want to use one for testing purposes, you can just hide it so it doesn't actually come off in the game, blah blah blah. We've got a bunch of other uh, things like cannot swim over here. We've got factions, grunts, you don't really want to play around with too many of these. You've got things like models, so you can play around with the actual character model itself. So you could go ahead and maybe put in a dragon. You could put the nano suit on him. You can do loads and loads and loads of stuff. Also, at the very top up here, uh, we've got some more parameters we can play around with. We've got outdoor only, which means he can only stay outside, he can't go inside of buildings. Cast Shadow, it's pretty self-explanatory, but when I turn it off and on, um, yeah, okay, so Cast Shadow, false, it should be off when I uh, generate all AI. However, there's sometimes a few bugs with AI, and it just uh, takes a few times to actually show up. So, uh, that's pretty much all I really wanted to go over in this video. We've got our AI up and going, he shoots us, he attacks us. We've played around with a few of the different parameters, and we should be able to do stuff. Also, I just wanted to apologize for the audio quality as of right now, simply due to me using my phone um, for recording my mic, because my mic is broken, and I'm not going to try and allow that to uh, compromise my videos. So, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.